Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss about an interesting topic in the financial module, especially for the reporting purpose. So we do have two topics like analytic plan and analytic accounts. Basically uh, we can call it as cost center and cost center types. So here red marks are uh, analytic plan or cost center types. Like we can call it as projects, departments, fleet or even the employees or equipments whatever it is the the analytic plan or the cost center types then under that we can define the analytic accounts under the project i just created two project abc and project xyz then in department we have hr human resource and finance administration even project or uh, other it departments there are different departments under the company then fleet the vehicles uh, we have bmw 123 and od 900 so this is our uh, case let me go to the auto so under the accounting module configuration here i can see there is analytic accounting there is three options analytic plans and ac analytic accounts we are going to discuss if i open analytic plans i can see there is three which is already created if i want to create a new click on new then name of the uh, analytic plan then if there is a parent we can add the parent then default default applicability optional mandatory or unavailable then uh, there are some other option as well then top you can see analytic accounts so let me open the project if i click on analytic accounts i can see there are default some projects are defined so I, let me create project abc by the way this uh, analytic account is connected with the, our project module then uh, project xyz so two we already created i will go to the uh, departments in departments we have finance already available administrative already available let me change to administration then we have uh, hr human resources available now the third one we have fleet let me create uh, bmw123 okay then od900 od900 so I created the uh, analytic plan and analytic accounts so let me check what is the effect on this suppose uh, if we have uh, in the first case we have projects suppose if we have a expense for a project like a uh, bill one uh, purchase bill from a supplier which is uh, applicable for a particular project that expense is completely allocated for a project so we'll go to the vendors and bills then click on new I have to select the supplier then here I'm just putting like a project expense account I just expense account then here I have to choose uh, to which project so we have project uh, ABC the hundred percentage cost will go to the uh, project ABC so here I will put the price as 50 then uh, we'll put the date and confirm now uh, this expense is completely allocated for the project abc same time i'm just duplicate this other purchase invoice which is uh, distributing 50 50 to different two different projects project abc and uh, the same time project xyz so let me put here uh, i can split by amount or the percentage for example this 30 and uh, this is 20 so automatically the percentage will show here so basically this 50 is split up into 20 and 30 to this uh, among these projects so let me confirm now that also posted so if I go to the uh, configuration and analytic accounts if I search for project project ABC here you can see 80 and 20 so if I open I can see there is two bills these are the one so the expense part is clear now uh, suppose we have a uh, expense for the vehicle then we'll go to enters bills or accounting journal entries we can do a general entry as well click on new for example fuel expense which is a general entry i'm going to create so here uh, let me put one expense account say expenses here i have to select which vehicle so id 900 uh, debit will be for example 50 then i'm paying this as cash then post 
now uh, if I go to the analytic account and if I search for the OD then I can see here Nifty which is debit and if I go inside I can see debit gains similarly uh, suppose one uh, manager he is managing overall the company then his salary should go to a particular percentage for uh, among those uh, departments so let me go to the uh, accounting general entries going to create a salary entry like salary of one manager for the month of like that then account here I have to put uh, salary expenses for example thousand is ten thousand is his salary then I have to split up among the departments like uh, administration should be uh, 20 percentage then I have to split for uh, finance say uh, 40 percentage then I have to put up for uh, human resource HR as 40 percentage then uh, salary payable this is the booking entry uh, by end of the month normally so we have the split up here then if I go to the configuration and analytic account let me go to the human resources I can see here 4000 which is the you know the, the percentage distribution same time uh, administration I can see 2000 let me select both then uh, finance as well so here the, the total 10,000 so this is the uh, benefit of uh, analytic accounts you can distribute uh, by value or by percentage and the beautiful part is like uh, if I want to take the profit and loss here even the customer invoice also we can do the if we are uh, invoicing it to a project so let me create one uh, invoice for a project then here I'm just adding one of the project product for example this one then uh, our project is like uh, let me uh, put ABC 100 percentage and the amount will be like uh, 40,000 40,000 then confirm now this uh, revenue is allocated for the project so if I go to the configuration analytic accounts then project ABC I can see here 40,000 is the credit value and debit value and this is the margin for our that particular project this is the profitability of the project then if I go to reporting and profit and loss here I can group by uh, the uh, projects for example projects ABC same time project XYZ so I can see here the revenue part is 40,000 for the ABC XYZ is 0 then the expense part here 80 and 20 so overall the profitability of uh, each project we will get uh, this is minus 20 which is in loss and this is in the profit same time if I want to know like based on the uh, fleet for example OD and uh, BMW so I'll get the overall picture of uh, cost center wise uh, profitability or the project wise profitability same time I can choose the department as well for example finance then administration like this so we will get a horizontal report for that same time if I want to know based on the cost center types or analytic plan wise I can select like this project department and fleet so we'll get overall uh, expense and revenue for each uh, analytic plans or cost under types then uh, one more report is there like in under the reporting analytic report here we have a beautiful uh, report which is released in the latest version as a grid report here you can see the split up if I take the project ABC here project ABC you can see here in the April there is minus 80 then uh, there is project XYZ there is minus 20 so it will give you an overall picture of a uh, whole year or if here you can choose the uh, year and month so this is how the cost center or cost center types or in auto terms it is analytic account or analytic plans which is very crucial role for the financial reporting or MIS reporting okay thank you